I'm awful with computers. I'm one of those guys, basically every button I hit on my computer, my computer has to like shut down, like regroup, somehow like deal with my idiocy, you know what I mean? Then there's always like some eight year old I see later on on a laptop like ah. He's like breaking into the Pentagon, downloading movies that haven't even been made yet. I just got a plane ticket for six bucks. He just want to like slam his head in the thing. I'll tell you the only thing I like about my computer is I really enjoy spell check. No, I love it. You know what I love about spell check? You don't have to be close to getting the word right. Have you ever noticed that? All you gotta do is just get it like somewhere like within the ballpark of the word. It's almost like your computer can just start guessing like, ah, I don't know, a dinosaur? You know, when you're sitting there like an idiot, like, nah, I wasn't trying to spell dinosaur. So then what does your computer do? It starts throwing out like every D word it can possibly think of, like, okay, how about dictionary? Diary, any of this stuff looking familiar? Are we moving towards the goal or away from it? You ever spell a word so bad though your spell check has absolutely no clue what the hell you're trying to spell? What do you end up getting? You end up getting like a question mark. You got a million dollars worth of technology just looking back at you like... Just like, you got me buddy! Which is pretty amazing because I have all the words! Yeah, and that doesn't look like any of them. I can't even make a guess that's so screwed up. Would you like pass out and whack your head off the keyboard? Please tell me you're not that stupid. <laughs> I love my dad, man. He's hilarious. He's such an emotional guy, you know. I know my dad was his funniest though, was whenever you like broke something. Because my dad, my dad would totally flip out, right? But the words he used, you would have actually thought it was a good thing. You know what I mean? Like you'd break a window, psh, he'd be like, nice! <laughs> Real nice! Oh, that's beautiful! That is just beautiful! Hey, why don't you break them all? Hey, get a nice breeze going! And I was watching the uh, Food Network recently. I swear to God, that channel is unbelievable. It's 24 hours of food. That's gotta be like the Playboy channel in Ethiopia. I'm serious. If I was in Ethiopia, that is a channel I would watch, you know? Wouldn't watch like HBO or ESPN. I'd be sitting there watching the food going, damn, man! Look at that cake! You know, like hanging out with all my skinny friends. Look at those hot dogs, man! Come on, look at it, man, look at it! Why is it bigger than us? Why the hell doesn't she eat? Cubicle should be illegal, man. You know what a cubicle basically says? It basically says, like, you know what? We don't think you're smart enough for an office, but we don't want you to look at anybody. <laughs> so you're going to get in there, and you're going to shut your face. <laughs> and you just get in there, and you're, like, hunched over, typing away. Around lunchtime, you pop your head up like a gopher, like, hey, Steve, you want to get a sandwich or something? I said, get in there and shut your face. I was, I was just asking for a sandwich or something. God, I hate that guy. I really hate that guy. It's time to go on the internet and look for a weapon. No, they're awful. Every time I see cubicles, I just want to just run through them and just... Just knock them down, set everybody free. It's awful. It's like the same feeling you get when you're like in the pet store and you see all the rabbits and stuff. You just want to let them out. Pathetic, man. You know what I love about the cubicle? I always love the pathetic attempt to try to make the cubicle like a home. You know what I mean? There's always like a stuffed animal in there or like a picture of your mom with like her disappointed eyes looking back out at you like, why have you accepted this as your lot in life? Why don't you have the balls to get up and walk out of this thing? I'm telling you, those people need to be rescued. You ever walk by a cubicle? The person in the cubicle always looks back out at you. Because they're starved for some sort of human contact. They'll just start up a conversation like, hey, hey. Is it raining out? I haven't seen the sky in like six days. They don't let us look out the windows. I'll tell you one thing I have realized though. When you go to war, man, that's the one time when you really have to like appreciate rednecks though. No, you know why? Because rednecks, they're, they're, like a they're like the one group of people that actually want to go to war. 
Everybody else tries to get out of it. Like, rich people never go to war. You ask a college kid if he wants to go to war, he's just like, um, I'm taking this sociology class, and I think war is, like, really stupid. My roommate's, like, half Afghani, so that's gonna cause some static. <laughs> you ask a redneck if he wants to go to war, he's just like, hell yeah! Absolutely, I'm ready right now! You just point the direction, buddy, I'm ready to do this! No, they're frightening people, but you gotta utilize them. Seriously, you wanna scare the enemy, okay? And rednecks are like America's pit bulls. They should just sedate those people, drop them off in Afghanistan, just let them run wild. Just be like, dude, just go do everything you ever dreamed of doing. Just go crazy. Have one of your friends play the banjo, it'll scare the hell out of them. No, oh, that's what I would do, man. If I ever ran the draft, I would just draft psychos. I would. I wouldn't deal with people who worked in coffee shops. I'd go into the swamps of this country. I'd get people with rabies. I would. I'd get perverts. People like to grind up against other people on the subway. Just get, like, the cancer of this society and just send it over there. Homeless people like to talk to buildings. Just send it over there. Just irritate them. Bunch of freaks running around. <laughs> Seriously, you wouldn't want to draft a guy like me. I'm a comedian. I'm useless. I'm a coward. I don't like confrontations. You draft a redneck. Not only is that dude a psycho, he'll actually save you money. Those guys show up to the army like, here's your M16. They're like, I already got one. I got some stuff in the trunk you ain't ever seen before, buddy. I went on the internet, got me some of that surface-to-air stuff, took it out hunting, got me a moose and a duck at the same time. I didn't even see the duck. Duck was over her. I'm aiming at the moose. Duck's over her. That's my peripheral. Over her. And the shot went up the moose's ass, and the shrapnel from his antler hit the duck. Duck came down. It was the best damn duck ever, right? 